Hi. To get the Place Print app, you have to do one of two things. Number one, you can go to the Apple App Store. And when you get there, you have the search bar. You type in PP Messenger, one word. Or you can type in PP Messenger space Place Print space Messenger. Or you can type in Place Print Messenger. You know, any of these will ultimately pull up the appropriate application, the Place Print Messenger. And when we get here, we're ultimately going to want to download it. So we'll do so. First, we'll look at the images that are associated with that. And we can see we can create an account, name, age, sex, and photo all included. After we have that account, we'll be able to view public users. And what that means is there's private and public. The only way you can get a private account is if you register with an email address and anyone with that same ending email address will be able to have an internal network. So if I'm a, uh, you know, for example, James placeprint.xyz, anyone else with the at placeprint.xyz email ending will ultimately have an internalized messaging system. And you can just scroll through the public, uh, you know, the board, user board, and click and message. It's that simple. Uh, we have the image of the send, scroll, and view screen. We can view the images of the user, big, the full image. We can type a message and send it, or we can view every message that's in our mailbox in that same screen. Uh, we also take note of the private messages tab right there. And of course, if the app's closed, we're not going to use your battery, you're not going to use location, nothing's going to happen if the app's closed. But if you get a message and you activate push notifications, you're going to be able to get a push notification from the person that sent you a message, and that's great because then you get immediate notification about what you've just been messaged, the content and the name of the user. So we're going to go ahead. It looks good. Go ahead, download it. We're going to have to type in our username password, of course, for the Apple iTunes. The password includes one lowercase, one symbol, and numbers. And we'll go ahead and type that in right now. Okay, we've typed it in. We've downloaded it. This is what the little icon looks like. Okay, we're going to be asked, can we use your location? We recommend you say yes. We have to type in a name. Again, we're going to just type in iPad 2. Again, this is the location. We're typing in our name, iPad 2. If you type in an email address, you know, it's going to make everyone with that same email address ending the only people you can see. So don't do that if you don't want to have limited uh, network. Okay? You're going to type in the age here. We're just going to say uh, 25. Okay, we're going to select mail, and we have to select a photo, of course. Okay, so we'll just pick that one and submit it. Okay? And then, when we get here, we're going to see the public uh, board. This is basically everyone that's been here. You can see their name. You can see how far they are. You can see their image and what time they checked in. Automatically checks in after you get it logged in. Okay, we'll click refresh, and we'll see our username that we just created, iPad2, the date, how far away they are. Every time you uninstall the app and reinstall it, you'll have to create a new account. So keep that in mind or you'll be able to log in if you go to placeprint.xyz you can get directions for that now here's the icon for the the board here's the icon for the private messages the user board private messages we don't have any private messages no one's messaged us but let's say we are back here at the user board and we want to message George right here we'll click on his image very simple we'll see his full image okay we can click message we'll say hi click send George just got a message from us if he's using the pushes he got that even if it's closed and uh, of course it wasn't using data or anything uh, prior to that but when he got the push notification it alerted him and now we have a private message over here at our message it shows our name and what it was sent it doesn't show who it was sent to uh, so you will ultimately have to know that context but uh, if they send you a message, it will show their name, their image, and actually the street that they're on. So that's the Place Print Messenger. It's very simple. Again, go ahead, download it from the Apple App Store. It's free. And uh, you can click Send Message very quickly.